I'm making what's called a an obelisk, but I decided to try some of this. I was at the home show. This guy was selling this stuff. He said plaster dudes use it. Just beeswax with some orange oil. It actually has a nice uh, odor to it. And um, I'm impressed. This one here, I just used the wax. Uh, this lady's paying me. This is a pedestal for a really high-end Dale Chaluli uh, art piece. And... Um, I just went for it, but the results here were astounding. And then uh, the other aspect of it, this is the minor sand color. Now that had sealer on it already, and then I, I ran the uh, beeswax over it once with the trowel, uh, and it just made it this extraordinary rich, like real plastery looking color, and then Here's the kicker on this one. Look at that water. It just like literally like beads. It just beads off of there. You can even take a rag and wipe that and you just have this extraordinary finish. So um, a lot of people have been asking about the shiny. I burnished this one quite a bit. It's not, you know, look at it we're getting a little bit of sheen there going it's not like crazy shiny but it's just strong as hell and that's just one coat of this like crazy like local bee ma beeswax maker guy made this stuff so uh anyways a little r d with the fresco harmony this color is gallery pearl by the way so it makes the color like extraordinarily richer than it normally would be but look at the veins that comes out on that base coat. This is all color joint compound. This is Fresco Harmony. It just looks like Venetian plaster. It's really cool. So, and no Venetian top coat on this piece at all. I just used this beeswax stuff. So, uh, till next time.